Uh, all right guys I don't know what to tell you this is literally like my I think fourth time trying to record this video not like this video is the most complicated video it's literally the most easiest video I can think of because a lot of people do Q&A especially when they first start or like me when they are trying to revive their channel uh, I just think this channel needs some upbeat some different kind of content <laughs> I keep mentioning this like for the second time now Oh, okay so I asked you guys some questions on TikTok and also on Instagram actually I did even a second TikTok TikTok live and someone was like maybe this is not meant to be this video is just meant to be not happen because this is like fourth time every single time something happens I either have to go still I have to go somewhere like in 30 minutes or so uh, or like someone comes in the door so there is just problems, you know, like it just happens. But today I'm not gonna let that happen and I'm going to start this video with some questions from you guys. So I'm gonna try to make them as interesting as possible and try to keep them as short as possible so this video doesn't go that long. So. <laughs> Let me start with some um, easy ones, so these are that we can go through very fast. So what's your favorite color? Actually my favorite color used to be pink and a lot of people think that it is pink, but it's actually not. So uh, although like when you look at my feed in the past, my feed I mean like my Instagram feed, um, like I always try to incorporate some pastel colors. Overall I love pastel colors, absolutely, I think those washed out colors like lilac or lilac lilac yeah like that like pastel or like pink pastel or like blue pastel i just love pastels overall but my favorite color is actually light blue i absolutely love blue overall but i would hate the dark shade of blue just i don't like dark shades that much personally so light blue like baby blue i think they call it absolutely my favorite which is why i think when i did the merce and co and i did like joggers which was blue light blue I absolutely live for that color so what is your sign uh, actually a lot of people assume this is like one over one thing that people always assume about me that I am a Leo but I'm actually not many many people think that because like I have social media or most people who are on social media and they post pictures of themselves whatever I guess we are narcissistic or narcissist I don't know but I'm not although my moon is in Leo but I am a Virgo, so all the Virgos out there. I actually had my birthday uh, last week, and I'm actually celebrating past birthday this week because <laughs> some certain occasions that didn't happen. So anyways, yeah, I'm a Virgo. I would say some basic things about Virgos, like we are absolutely perfectionist and we like pick and things people, like we pick things, we pick like some people, like bad characters and try to fix them in that way we try to control most things a um, little bit about Virgos yeah overall I would say like we are really really good people like we really are we just can be a lot sometimes I don't know if it's just because combination of me because I am like Leo no Virgo Sun Virgo Leo Moon and the other one is Cancer so I can be quite sensitive and emotional sometimes but also can be a lot overall sometimes so just about me what is like this is also <laughs> science related I guess <laughs> what are your thoughts on Aries and uh, Gemini someone also asked about Sagittarius I'm just gonna combine them all together um, one thing I would say about Aries a lot of people are actually like hesitant about Aries or they find them like not unattractive but more like unapproachable because they seem so like entitled but I feel like all, almost all the Aries I know or I have met in person they have always been like on the top of their shit and they have always been really good and they know what they're doing and they know their shit and I actually tend to most of the time get along with them I don't think I have been like really so much friends with them most of the time I could be like acquaintance with them or know them personally and work with them a couple times but I don't think any of my friends are actually Aries I get along so well with like Pisces because my sister's Pisces 
I get along with Leos, although sometimes like we, we buy heads, like my dad is a Leo and we used to buy heads like quite a lot, but now we are like fine. Although it might be because like we are too alike, that's why. <laughs> we are literally like one month apart, that's why it makes so much sense. Um, but overall like I feel like Aries are great people. When it comes to Gemini though, I don't think I know anyone that who's Gemini, maybe they are, but I just don't know. But from what I have heard that like they change their thoughts so fast and like they go back and forth and like they are kind of like unpredictable. Not like that from the say of it because I like to make my decisions that I just don't go back from it. Like for me it's like I one thing with Virgos, like I'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate to this too. Like if like we take a long time to make decisions, like a long time. Like sometimes like in order to buy one product, like my boyfriend knows this for sure, I would do like a deep, deep research or like, I don't know, take days or weeks sometimes to just finish that product, then I would buy it. But once I make the decision, <laughs> I don't go back from it. That's what I mean. So I am firm on that. I feel like Gemini's are not. And last about like, I'm gonna conclude on that. Sagittarius actually, they scare me personally because I feel like they are the kind of people like they would not stab you in the back, but they get like so like passionate about certain people or certain things and they can feel hurt in certain ways if you do something wrong to them or if you say something wrong or blunt. Like I feel like I'm so blunt sometimes and I don't even do this to hurt people. It's just more like that's my personality, I guess. And the way I grew up, like my aunt or my I don't know, my parents, they were always so honest with me. Not in a way that like it was nice, they were just brutally honest with me. And they would say like things to my face that would personally hurt, hurt my feelings. Also just like I would feel bad about it. But I just got used to it and I feel like that's what I sometimes do to people. But not to hurt their feelings, it's just more like I'm blunt. So anyways, I'm not sure if I would get along with them personally. But I feel like also at the same time, like I'm not sure if I would keep them in my circle. That's all. Okay, another one. What's your, what's my favorite food? Like, what's your favorite food? My favorite food, I would definitely say pizza. Although I'll, I like a lot of like other kind of food, like burgers and fries and like Chinese food and like many other things. But I feel like pizza has like it's just so dear to my heart. But not like one of those crap pizzas. I have to be honest. Like, not pineapple on a pizza. I feel like that's a crime. No. Like absolutely not. I really like this Napolitan pizza, which is like baked on a, you know, like an oven, like a like not convention oven, like one of those ovens, like especially for pizza, and like it's thin crust and like just so good. Like I love the crust. Some people don't eat the crust. I love the crust. So I'm one of those people. Whenever like no one finishes their crust in our family or it's just in the table, I eat the crust. Essentially, I'm like a bread dispenser. <laughs> So what, what is your favorite superhero? I have asked this question, like I got this question actually a lot on TikTok, like almost three times now I think. Um, I would say Venom. Venom has always been my favorite. Well actually, before it was uh, like Spider-Man, but I feel like after the they changed the you know, character, like I mean the actor, I was just like lost interest. Definitely Venom, I absolutely love Venom. And I can't wait for Venom 2, the Carnage thing, you know. I can't believe I'm a fan and I just forgot the name of the movie. But anyways, yeah, you guys know. It opens on October 1st, so I'm so excited I'm getting my tickets. Okay, someone asked, do you have any siblings? Actually, because I am, like, far apart from my siblings. Actually, like, other one is close, but, like, I don't really post so much about them. So, I have a younger sister. Actually, we are like barely one year, one and a half year apart. And she actually was in the mid, she was like, actually, she moved recently. So she's actually in Boston area right now, studying for law. And my older sister, she's very close to me. She's in upstate New York and she's working at the hedge fund. So yeah, just a little bit about them. I, how old are you? Oh, actually, I was just gonna say I'm 26, but I just turned 27, so. Here comes the 30s, very close, hitting it very close. I don't love it. I'm kind of scared about it. Probably I'm gonna have a life crisis, but yes. Um, I are you in a relationship? Yes, I am. And it's actually gonna be like two years, a couple months, so yes. 
maybe I will do like a boyfriend reveal in one of the videos if these kind of stuff do well. What is your favorite? Um, hold on, I will set that. What's your go-to skincare products? Okay, I have so many go-to products I would say, um, but from the ones like that stick out to me the most, I will say like two of them. Uh, one of them is actually this wand. I will put a picture right here. It's called Solo Wave Wand. It reuses multiple like therapy, like red light therapy, and it uses like this uh, vibrations on your skin. It really helps. Like it feels nice, but also it helps you to just apply the serum into your skin deeply, so it just goes into your pores nicely. Um, I have been using it for a long time, and it helps with my fine lines and dark circles here so would definitely recommend it other one this is one of my favorite moisturizers i feel like i'm so picky when it comes to moisturizers they have like this weird texture or just like smell that i don't like that lingers so much i'm not a big fan of the fragrance on the moisturizer other things that could be missed or anything like fragrance not a big deal but moisturizer no last thing you put on your face it shouldn't have a like fragrance uh, I use this First Aid Beauty uh, Ultra Repair Cream. It is so good for dry skin. I'm not sure if I would recommend for oily skin because texture is a little different, but perfect for dry skin or anyone who has eczema. It really feels so nice on your skin and you don't have to apply it so much. It will last probably over three months. Like you can use it for quite a long time. This is the last question that I'm gonna answer. Um, Exercises that you enjoy as I'm struggling uh, struggling very hard to stay fit and be consistent Okay, so I'm not a fitness guru, but um, I'm gonna say a couple things like it really depends on what exercises Like what you're trying to do with your goal. I feel like it's something that like it will take time When I was first starting my fitness journey, I guess I have always been active But I used to be an athlete and I used to just swim competitively in college. So I was just swimming like five days a week six days a week but ever since i you know like i you know graduated and everything i was like college <laughs> graduated i tried to focus more on lifting but again i feel like if you're first just starting out definitely give yourself some time just figure out to see what you want to do but in order to be consistent just start going to the gym first like i feel like you don't just jump from step one to step three don't do that so first thing you can be like about consistent about you can just be like i'm just gonna go to gym three days a week or five days a week it really depends but try to put yourself some sort of schedule that you can stick to and second thing is that you can also divide your days for something like i do like this like push day which is like chest day essentially chest like or shoulders day then i do arm day then i do leg day then i kind of essentially repeat them so i can hit them um like twice a week yeah like each uh group so it really depends and one of them one of the days i try to do like uh, cardio i add a little bit of cardio personally i feel like i used to love cardio so much now i'm trying to like make it less um so that i can focus more on that but my favorite workouts are actually chest day chest days are always my favorite but it just really depends on what you're gonna do or like what's your goal so if your goal is to like lose weight maybe prioritize your uh, cardio days but if to gain muscle prioritize more like lifting weights when you're especially the first lifter so try to just focus on that and like focus on your like the the process of it don't just focus more on the weight that you're going to put more because i think when i was first starting i literally had like no power i mean <laughs> no power like no strength at all like i would maybe use like 10 pounds or 15 pounds dumbbells and my arms were like <laughs> like i couldn't do it but now i can do 30 so that's like twice as more and i i know it's not a lot but it's a lot for me so i am i have learned and that's why i'm saying like it's definitely gonna take time as you eat more as you um like take protein more like creatine like there's so many things that you could do but first things first is like definitely educate yourself more but also stay to the, your schedule so you can try to be more consistent with your fitness journey all right guys so these were some of the questions that you said you guys sent me so um you guys can get to know me more or 
if you guys are new here that you can actually um, find out about my e. I hope you guys like this video if you do please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next week with another video